my name is Paul Wormsley. I am currently 53 years old. I work full time um, as a police officer, although I'm due for retirement uh, next year because I've reached me um, 30 years pensionable service. Um, I was diagnosed in uh, 2002. Uh, basically what had happened was my wife had had um, a bug and I managed to probably catch it off her or have another bug of similar ilk. And then I remember one night walking upstairs and seeing a rash all over my chest area. And um, I went to see Claire and said, I don't think this is right. And I lifted my top up and let her see it. And at that point in that, she thought, yep, yeah, this doesn't look right. So we booked an appointment at the doctors and like most meals and everything like that. I don't like to bother the doctors unless it's something serious. And this time, and that I was thinking, it's the first ever rash I'd had. I hadn't been improving um, over the like summer period and that with this um, bug that I had. So I decided, yep, yeah, we'll go to the doctors. I went there and she um, had a diagnosis, had a look over, checked the rash and everything like that, made sure it was nothing more serious. You were with glass test and everything like that. And um, so went off to um, I get a blood test at the doctor's and um, come back in about a couple of weeks later when the results were there, my white cell count was pretty high. So she said, and that, oh, it's probably because you just, um, at the end of like the illness and stuff like that, we'll monitor you again in a month or two's time. So a month or two's time, went back again, got another blood test, um, feeling fit and well by that time and thought, oh, everything should be champion, but it wasn't. So I'd gone back and um, white cell count was really high. So at that point she says, well, this is not right. So she sent me through to uh, the local hospital where I saw a consultant who gave me like, well, it could be this, it could be that, it could be the other. Um, but what it probably won't be is chronic lymphocytic leukemia, CLL. And basically she thought that because I was under 40 at the time, I was only um, 38 years old. And she t turned around and said, well, no, you can't be that and that. I don't have many patients under the age of 40. Um, you're too young and that because it's normally um, an older person's disease. So I had another blood test, which went off to be uh, clinically examined. And when that came back, um, I went to see the um, consultant again because I'd had an appointment, um, I think it was about a month or a number of weeks later. Goes to see her again and she says, unfortunately, Paul, it is CLL and you are my third patient under 40 years old. And that's where it started from there, that um, that was the diagnosis, and then I was put on something called watch and wait.